Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about custom validators in Angular by using a form group. In this, I'll try to explain with a scenario. Let us go and understand the scenario. Here is an example and my requirements. The requirements is we need to have two fields. One is password and confirm password and they have to match each other. If the password and the confirm password values does not match, then I have to show an error message. I want to handle this by using a custom validators over a form group level. Let me go into the Visual Studio code. If you see here in the Visual Studio code, previously I have experimented and I have created one video related to the custom validators of a particular form control. Here we'll be concentrating on multiple form controls with a form group validator that is a custom validator. So in this case, let me create a group first. So let me remove all the unwanted things and go to your HTML, clear off and go to CSS and clear off save. And let me go to the HTML, create a form with two fields. One is input field with a placeholder as password. And let me zoom it a bit. And let me break this. And let me create one more break. And let me use a input field. Again, let me use a placeholder here as confirm password. And let me save this. Now, what's our case? This password and confirm password should match each other. Otherwise, I need to show a error message. For that sake, let me create a group by using reactive forms. So let me use as password group, which is of type form group. And let me assign this form group. This dot password group is equal to new form group, which is again an object inside this and inside this object let me create a password control that is new form control and which is again an empty by default let me use a confirm password which is again a form control and which is having a default value as empty in this case i am not concentrating on a particular control either a password control or confirm password control i am targeting for both of them for that sake i need to add a validation at a group level because i am using two different controls before going to that let me bind this form group form group which is of type which is of password group and let me use a form control name which is again a password and here let me use a form control name which is equivalent to my confirm password. So let me save this. Here I have created two fields and I have binded them accordingly. So let me go to the browser and see here we have password and confirm password. Now what I want to do is whenever I enter some value inside the password and confirm password, then I have to show the error message. So for that sake, what I'll do is I'll create a validator, custom validator. That is nothing but const check equality is my custom validator and this will be having a function and this function should return another function which will accept a group which is again an abstract control which will return you validator errors or null value and this is again an arrow operator inside this arrow operator i need to get two values for that sake let me pass what are the controls inside that groups which we are targeting let me pass source and let me use a target value which is of type string and here also let me use a source of string and here let me create a source value is equal to source dot value or let me go with group will be having this control so i can access that control by using a get method and pass my source name to this dot value and now let me use const target value which is again a group which is having dot get of the target name and then let me get the value for it so i'll be getting the target value and the source value now my condition is if my source value is equivalent to target value then both matches if it is not equal then what we have to do is return not equal 
this is my error property and let me pass it as else written as null I just want to return the null value so let me copy this check equality and pass it to the group and previously whenever we are trying for the new form control then we usually pass here but for a form group we have to pass it as a second parameter after creating our controls with an array so let me pass this with check equality and my source will be equal to my password and this should be equal to my confirm password so these are my controls so source and the target let me save this we have to show a error message now how to show it ng hyphen container so i am creating an ng container where star ng if if both the password and the confirm password are not matching each other then we have to show it so in that case what i can do is just use my password group dot invalid when the form is invalid and at least the form should be touched by someone password group should be touched or password group should be dirty so let me use something like this then i have to check our validation so in this case let me use a span tag and here let me use star ng if and this expression should be equivalent to my password group dot errors this is at a group level of errors and if this errors contains our property called as not equal then i have to show password should match with confirm password or else as per our requirement password and confirm password should be same so let me change like that password and confirm password should be same let me save this and go here clear it off let me type something like sai password does not match and whenever i type s a i it went and if i remove it it is not so this is how we can use our custom validators at a group level so like this we can write any of our javascript logic for your controls and that controls can be passed from our group and make sure that controls should be existing in your group otherwise that controls will never give some value and you cannot check them as expected so this is how we can check our validators or we can write our custom validators for a form group or a form control in our angular application hope this helps you a lot and if you like my explanation like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you